Are you joining me? Yes. Where are you? There you are. Here I am. So we are just approaching Reykjavik now on our cruise. Iceland, yeah. Iceland. And behind us, there is a volcano erupting. Uh, I don't know if you can make it out. There we go. That streak of smoke just there is a volcano erupting. And I'd also like to point out it is currently 22 midnight. So we're looking at the midnight sun too. This is what Iceland's about, isn't it? It's what travelling's about. We're Angela and Alan. We've taken a sabbatical and are travelling around the world with no plan and a small budget. We've worked hard and saved hard for this, so we're trying to make our money go as far as possible while still having meaningful experiences. We may be middle-aged, but that doesn't mean we're past it. Join us as we go to new countries, eat new foods and enjoy life as much as possible. If we can do it, you can. Good morning from Reykjavik. Good morning. Um, as we said last night, we were cruising into Reykjavik. We've arrived overnight and we're now here. Reykjavik is the most northerly capital city. Uh, it's the world's most northerly capital and also it's Europe's most westerly capital. If that's not true, that's what we've been told, but if that's not true, tell us in the comments below. Um, so, yeah, we've arrived this morning, we're just about to disembark, we've got about 10 minutes to get off the ship, haven't we? Yeah, it's quite early, it's the earliest I've been up for a week, <laughs> and it's now quarter past eight. <laughs> and uh, we're off to see ge <laughs> Geothermal Wonders yeah. and Viking Museum today, so we'd better go.
Look at that. Viking longboat. Yeah. That's, I mean, essentially, that's all that's here, isn't it? A Viking yeah, replica. Like souvenir shops and a bit of information. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was interesting to actually get on a Viking boat. Or is it a replica? It's a replica. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting to see. It. There was less here than I anticipated. Yeah, I mean it's a four-hour excursion, and the first hour was on a coach. Yeah. So. And we had uh, what thirty-five minutes here. Uh, about thirty-five minutes. Yeah. So we'll see what the next port is going to be. What is it? The geothermal. Geothermal. Yeah. So we'll go there next. So this is Selton Geothermal area and on the way here I heard two facts that make this a very attractive place for us to live. Firstly, every child is taught tennis in school. Is that a joke? I'm not sure. Because that tour guide just throw in some... Some really random facts. <laughs> um, second, most important, there are no mosquitoes in Iceland. No mosquitoes and no snakes. Yeah. And if any of their horses leave uh, the island, the country, they're not allowed back. And they don't, they, they don't allow any horses to be into the country. Because they want to keep the breeze pure. pure. Um, however, she has also told us there are elves and fairies. Not sure how much we're supposed to take seriously. It will really help us out if you could take a few seconds to like or comment on this video or subscribe. This helps YouTube find like minded viewers for our channel. The easiest way to do this is via the YouTube app or website, and there's no charge. Thank you. Close to here is where the Eurasian and American tectonic plates meet um, and just behind these hills here about a mile away is a volcano that is currently well erupting what would you say? well it's smoke coming out of it so yeah I guess <laughs> yeah. erupting um, so there's a lot of volcanic activity in this area um, and lots of earthquakes and actually, as we look at the streams and um, the mud here, 
you can see the variation in colour. You can see that there's lots of mineral deposits coming up out of the earth. We asked the guide about the kids learning tennis in school and she looked very confused. She said, tennis? What do you mean tennis? You said that children learn tennis in school, it's compulsory. No, she said Danish. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Goodbye. We're back on board having had our excursion today. What do you think? It's expensive. <laughs> it was, was it? 65 pounds each. Each, yeah. And what did we get? We well, it was four hours. Yep. And it was an hour there on the coach and an hour back. Yep. <laughs> which you didn't realise. So that means you only got two hours. And the first hour was going to visit a Viking ship. Thirty-five minutes. Felt longer. <laughs> it was a replica as well. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then the second bit was to go to the geothermal mud pools and yeah. uh, something like fantastic views. Yes. And personally, um, I would have rather spent all the time in the landscape looking at the pools yeah. and, um, yeah, rather than looking at an old boat. And you saw the price, the entry fee to go and look at the old boat? I think the boat was £25 each. Out of the 65. Out of 65. And the geothermal stuff appeared to be free. Yeah. So, but you'd need to hire your own car yeah. or yeah. get a taxi if there are taxis that go there or your own camper van. Yeah. But it was free entry. Um, so we've paid effectively £40 each for transport and guide. Not knocking it. No, the guy, you know, she was very good. <laughs> she was very Quite funny. funny. <laughs> Um, no, but money could be spent better elsewhere, but then you just don't know, do you? You just you, know, you never know what you're going to get. No. Um, but I would certainly, even now, I go back to the geothermal place because we got, yep. what, half an hour there? If that. Yeah, and um, we could have easily spent a lot on there. Yes. You know, to look around, up and down there. We the didn't see everything in the, half, in the half hour we were there didn't even come close so yeah so as I say we're back on the ship uh, sailing off to our next destination in Iceland tonight I believe we have to be back by half past five today and we sail away at six so yeah and I forget where we're actually going <laughs> it's a name I can't pronounce I will practice overnight and then I don't know what we're doing but I think next time we're going to take our chances and do our, our own thing Get off the boat from the from the pool, go and see what's there, um, and then make it up as we go, and then we'll see how we get on that way, and then compare the two. Sounds fair enough to me. Good morning from Isafjorda in the western fjords of Iceland. As you can see, it's a beautiful summer's day. Currently 6 degrees.